Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to look at some of the basics of the editing screen. And this is where you will have your projects and where you will do your editing. Now you're going to notice right away at the very bottom of the editing screen, you'll see that your video is down in two basic components. You'll see that one component is primarily audio and it actually says audio there. And it'll actually look like audio because you can see the peaks and valleys in the way that I actually spoke when we were recording the video. The other is the screen and that's where you see this particular track. And you'll see that this is going to be primarily the video. Now when you do take a look at the elements on the timeline, one thing that you can do is you can right click this element and you're going to notice that there is a link here that says separate audio and video. When you click that link, what's going to happen is that you will see that all of the audio is now separate. So for example, you will see that the what appears on the screen is actually here. What is heard in the system in audio is now in one track and what is now recorded is now on one track or what is spoken into the microphone and all three of these components actually make up your video. You can take out any component that you want. So for example, if you were to have some kind of audio noise come into your background or some kind of music that you didn't want there, you can actually take that out through the system audio on your timeline. You can actually edit the entire piece, of course, by keeping them together. So for example, if we wanted to go backwards, we could go back and do the undo button. And that'll actually put those two pieces back together. Now the timeline has a couple of elements. You're going to notice that the timeline has markings at the very top, and those represent the seconds. You'll notice that you have a scroll or a cursor bar that will actually take you through each component of the video. So as I drag this cursor, you're going to notice a couple of things. You're going to notice that this indicator moves through to the end of the video. What also is going to happen is that the video is going to advance and you'll notice that you move it backwards. So both of these features make it easy for us to go in and actually do the editing of a particular video. We can actually play the video and what we're going to do right now is I'm going to hit the control home button. It's going to take me back to the beginning and what I'm going to do is hit the play button and you're going to notice and you can actually hear some of the audio in the background and what's happening here is that the editing screen is going to allow us to listen in real time to the video that we just created so that we can hear things in order to edit them but you can do it visually by looking at the timeline. Now another element of the timeline is that if we want to take a look at the timeline as a whole, we can actually reduce the size without changing the nature of the timeline. We can do that by using this measuring rod. If we click the minus, you'll notice that the timeline gets smaller on our screen so that we can see the whole thing. If we need to stretch it so that we can see something a little more in depth, we can stretch it using the plus. We can actually delete the entire audio portion from the timeline by highlighting the audio and then clicking the delete button. Then the audio is gone. If we want to go backwards, we go back to the undo button and it's back there. We can do the same thing on the timeline with the screen capture and we can actually hit the delete button. It goes away and then we can hit the undo button and it will come back. So the timeline basically gives us a glimpse of our entire video and what's happening. And anything that you don't want to have in it, Camtasia allows you to separate it into a track and then it allows you to then delete the portion that you don't want there. So if we want to take out the system audio, we can. So in our next video, we'll take a look at another aspect of the editing screen. We have now looked at the timeline and you've got a basic orientation as to what it does. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in the next video.